I brought from Safari, and let's have a look at this uh, Dodge Ram here, and just see on this uh, absolutely stunning 1500 here. We're just looking at all the lights here in the front. Uh, exactly what we've done in the canopy on the back. Let's start the lights on the door here. We've actually recessed them on the edges all the way around, so it's a 270 degree run. And then let's have a look in the back of the canopy here. So we've got 400 amp hours of lithium. Um, we've got a 3000 watt inverter, Scotty, of course, up there. And this uh, compressor and the small 12 volt battery behind there, there's a lot of 240 in this van. And then that's our control panel on the other side there that you can see there in reverse. Uh, this is all going to be fitted out in here. So we've done the electrical first and then the fit out second. And then at the back here, we've got the 240 in and out at the top. Way panel in the middle here, the fridge is going in here. And uh, on this side here is a series of ovens and uh, pantry. So this is sitting in the middle here, and uh, you can see we've got a seven inch screen, it's massive. Uh, we've got the lights here, and we've currently got the white on, and look how that's tucked in all the way around there. And we can turn the white off, amber on, and there's the amber in, and that's bright enough to come back into the canopy. Let's go around. And just listen to the sound we've got in here. I'm just gonna go and have a look at the back. There's the exhaust there running around. Uh, we're just gonna show the power of the rear winch here and it's uh it's pulling my range rover here so what we're going to show you is absolutely no engine running whatsoever what power we're going to get coming out of uh which scotty's giving back in reverse there's my remote control and uh let's have a look it's 1.4 kilowatts and it's pulling it forward he's got the brakes on there that's uh, not a lot of power, about 140 amps, 150 amps or so. And that's just pulling it out on the ram. Now a couple of things we didn't show was that we've added this Bluetooth temperature sensor into the fridge in the RAM. He hasn't got his fridge yet, but I'll just show you online. It pops up as a RAM BAM fridge. It's just showing ambient temperature. But look at the min max for the day. That's uh, fairly uh, handy to see. And while we look at the power when uh, it's in the shop here, what's more important is after it takes off down the road. And uh, all our projects have online monitoring and 24 seven support. So let's have a look. So he shot off down the highway there doing over two kilowatts charging, batteries at a reasonable voltage. And uh, this is just one of the biggest and uh, best projects that I think we've done. How good is that?